Okay, moving on to 5.6, first differences. Um, this is still related to slope and rate of change, except we're going to be looking at first differences when we have a table of values. So for instance, if I have a table of values, okay, and generally in a table of values, if you're not given the x values, you can make them up, whatever works for you. Um, and then you can be given your y values, whatever the case may be. Okay, or maybe you have to plug it into a formula or a scenario um, to figure out your y values. But let's say we already have a table of values. My first differences are the differences. I'm actually going to write this down. It's the difference between consecutive y values in a table with evenly spaced x values. So what's that mean? It means it's the difference in these y values as long as these values are going up by a consistent number. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. If this was like 0, 1, 5, 90, I can't really figure out first differences using this strategy. So I need the x's to go up by the same amount. It could be 5, 10, 15, 20, it could be 100, 200, 300, as long as it's evenly spaced x values. To find my first differences, I just subtract my y values. Okay, and how I subtract, I subtract the lower number minus the top number. This is 3 minus 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. This is 6 minus 3. 3. This is 9 minus 6. 3. Now, first difference tells us that how much it's going up every time. For every 1, we're going up 3. And when these numbers, this first difference column, when these are all the same, so when first differences are the same, we know that the relation is linear, okay, which means it's a, it's a straight line. There's no curve, there's no break, it's linear. I know it's going up by 3 every time. It means that every 1, I'm going up 3. Every 1, I'm going up 3. So when I'm consistently going up by three for every evenly spaced x value, it's gotta be a line, it to, has to be a straight line. Okay, so why do we use first differences? Sometimes we just wanna figure out if something is a line or not. Is the relation linear or not? So if you have a table of values, you can find your first differences and determine whether a relation is linear. If you're looking at a graph, just look at it. If it's a line, it's linear. If it is not a line, this is nonlinear. Okay, so just determining between nonlinear and linear is a really common question um, in this chapter. And there's many ways of doing it. Again, we can use a table, we can use a graph, um, and I'll show you some other strategies at another time. But first differences are pretty straightforward. You just subtract the y values. And just a reminder, do not do it this way. 0 minus 3 is not 3, right? It's negative 3. So we want to go this way. Okay, the bottom minus the top. 